So now that I know the one is there on a die, I know the six is on the back. So I'm going to twist this around. And now I'm going to create a new sketch. So if you're in sketch mode, if this says sketch up here, that's not good. You want to be in the features thing. You want to be out of the sketch. Nothing over here should be selected. Now I'm going to click the back of here and I'm going to say, first of all, I'm going to say normal to, which means I want to see this thing head on. And so it now centers it perfectly in my screen. Again, if as you're going along, if something's not working, just hit escape or undo or delete what you just did. Like if I come in here and I create a new sketch and I just totally mess things up and I don't even know how to mess things up. Um, blah. This is terrible. Ah! Okay. If you do something silly, just get out of it. Um, right click it and say delete. And there's no harm in deleting something. It's actually much, much easier to delete something you did wrong rather than try to fix it. Okay. So now I'm going to right click this and I want to create a new sketch. So opposite of the one is going to be the six. So I'm going to create a circle circle. I'm going to smart dimension it again by clicking the outside, pulling it out, and saying this is 0.15. Now I'm going to arbitrarily say that the top from here to here is, let's call it um, 0.15. And I'm going to say the point from here to here, or the distance from here to here is 0.2. And I just made these numbers up. They're just silly. All right, I'm going to click OK on the dimension. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that itself and I want to say I want to create a linear sketch pattern. So it's going to take this sketch and it's going to make it move. So you see how it's going this way? All right, so I've got this one and let's see. I've got it going this way. Now in direction two, I'm going to make it go more. Now, if yours doesn't look like this, it's because you didn't click this before clicking Linear Sketch Pattern. Okay, so make sure that's selected before you say Linear Sketch Pattern. All right. So I want more going this way. Of course, it's going the wrong direction. So here's this little button next to the word Y axis. It says Reverse Direction. Click that. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is just for... I guess the word is for, for um, eyeballing it in because whenever you set dimensions here it doesn't seem to like to stick. So I'm going to eyeball them in here at 0.3 and 0.2 but I'm going to have to mess with it from there. Okay, I'm going to have to actually define it. So I'm completely happy with this linear pattern and the reason we create a pattern instead of creating all these separately is if I go in here and I now change this diameter see how they all change? And that's because they're all patterned off the original one. So that's kind of useful to know. So I'm going to change it back to 0.15, make my 6. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a smart dimension, and I'm going to tell this guy where he is. Come here. You. Yes, you. Chonk. There we go. So he's defined. And let's, oh, no, 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 escape. Click on him. Click on him. No, 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 I lost my smart dimension. Click on him. Click on the center, click on the side, point to, he's defined. So see, now that circle's fully defined because it's in black. So let's try defining this one down here. Maybe that'll help. Click, clicky, clicky, and clicky, clicky, clicky. Perfect. So basically, I've defined this one. I've defined the first one. I've defined, it's like I've defined an initial one. I've defined where it goes to along the, the, the columns, and then I define where it goes to along the rows. And by doing that, everybody else in the sketch becomes fully defined. And again, the reason we like to do this linear pattern is if I go in here and I change things, it changes everything. Okay, so it's a nice little, little scale to be able to have. So now that this is fully defined, I'm going to go ahead and exit sketch. So now taking this sketch, again, I'm going to create an extruded cut of 0.09. Click OK. And here it is. So if I hold down my scroll wheel and spin it, I can see that those are now inserted in there. So I'm going to right click that, say feature properties, and call this face 6. Now that we're having fun with this, we're going to say, okay, um, let's pick one of these sides to become 4. 
because four is pretty easy. Once you've got six, then four is pretty much the same thing. In fact, it's probably easier. Um, so I'm going to right click the face that I'm going to be four. And um, how you do this with a die is the sixes and the fours line up. So like the three sixes here will line up with the two holes that are going for the four and the such and such. So um, I want to see that face, face straight to me. So I'll say normal two. Now again, I'm going to create a new sketch. I don't want to be an existing sketch. Um, if you start to do dimensioning and you find that your dimensions are either backwards or sideways, one or two or three or a thousand other things could be going on. One of them might be that you're not actually normal to. Another could be that you're actually in a different sketch than you think you are or on a different face than you think you are. So again, if things are weird, just delete what you have and try it again. It's much better than trying to fix it. So I'm going to edit, I'm not going to edit, I'm going to create a new sketch on this face. So I'm going to draw in my one little circle. I'm going to smart dimension it. So again, clicking the edge, 0.15, good to go. And let's see, I want this to be, um, what do I want it to be? I'll say chunk, chunk there. And um, let me see. If I can remember how I like this. I think I like this guy to be a point two. Point two? Does that seem right? Point two. There we go. And I want him from here to here to be here. From here to here. Oh, it doesn't like me. Smart dimension. Smart dimension. Here to here. Make a point two. Okay. Pull that off. You always want to pull your dimensions off your drawing because it's just bad manners to have them on your drawing. Again, you can hit F to center the drawing in your in your area that you're working on. All right, so yay, I've got that fully defined. Now again, select the circle, create a linear sketch pattern, and go that way. Okay, I also want to make it go the other way. So I want one, two going in each direction. Again, the two is facing the wrong direction, so I'm going to reverse it by hitting the button next to Y axis. Beautiful, right? Okay. I'm not actually going to click this add dimension, add spacing dimension button. It's just not working for me right now. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is as a default. Okay. So again, I'm going to smart dimension. I'll say, well, however this is, I want this distance from here to here to be 0.2. And I want this distance from here to here to be 0.2. And again, I want this distance from here to here to be 0.2, and this distance from here to here to be 0.2. And see, just it's so beautiful, so beautiful. Hit F to pull everything in the same area. That way I can fix it. I'll hit F again. And again, the nice thing about the linear pattern is if I ever do this, see, they all work together. Chunk. Chunk. Okay. Yay. Again, exit sketch. I'm going to take this sketch. See it's selected over here. Extruded cut of 0.09. Click check. And if I hold down the scroll wheel and spin, there it is. It's ready to go. Good work. Good work. All right. Now, I'm going to work on the three. The three is going to be the side opposite the four. So come normal two. And now I'm going to create my three. The three is going to go up like this. So I'm going to create a new sketch. Right click, click sketch. Um, I should say this just in case you're not and I haven't. Um, go ahead and save this as you're going along because you just never know when SolidWorks is going to arbitrarily crash or your computer is going to arbitrarily restart. Yes, delete the empty sketch and continue saving. So I'm going to save it on my desktop. Um, and here it is, um, part four. I've already got one on there. New guy. Rebuild and save. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay.